hey and welcome to another video on my channel today i'm just going to talk about five different points that are either similar or different to guild wars 2 in comparison to the two biggest mmorpgs in the market which are basically final fantasy and world of warcraft i'm going to compare it to those two just because the whole player base that enjoys mmorpgs plays world of warcraft and final fantasy and that way it should be the easiest for everyone to compare the games with each other and see what you'd enjoy in one game more than in another one. Basically, I'm going to start with the classes. But before we start with that, I just want to kindly ask you to like, subscribe or dislike and comment why you didn't like the video. Uh, most of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed yet, which is quite unfortunate. But it is what it is. You don't have to. It's only if you want to. You can also follow me on Twitch if you want to see me playing this game live, since I'm still a beginner, by the way, and I'm using a lot of info that I get from my Twitch chat, basically. They are helping me at the moment to get into the game quite a lot, and without them, I wouldn't be able to make these videos at the moment. So yeah, thanks a lot for that, and let's just start with the first point, which is going to be, like I said, the classes. All right, every single MMORPG has obviously different classes, but I'm going to go into something else specifically. In World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy, you have the basic trinity, which is tank, healer, DPS, and obviously different classes for each role. In this game, it's a bit different. Uh, you still have supporting roles and DPS roles, but it's not as strict with like, someone has to be a tank, someone has to be a DPS, someone has to be a healer. It's gonna matter a little bit when you raid later on, but it's not as important as in Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft where you have no other option than to follow these rules. But yeah, let's talk about the classes in, in, in detail. Basically, there are nine classes. You have the Elementalist, which is the basic mage, I guess, where you have uh, Elemental Power, Necromancer. Should be obvious enough. Uh, Mesma, which is like some clone, uh, some class that plays with clones that can explode. It's basically a mage, but like a trickster type of thing right you have a ranger which is the typical uh, hunter class thief should speak for itself engineer yet again another machinist type class uh, for the people that play fancy um i mean it's also obvious like it's going to be ranged and and connected to technology um then these three classes obviously seem more like tank classes but like i said it's not that strict you have the guardian which is more like fighting with uh, signs and uh, that he puts on the ground that gives different buffs or like um, fire and ice shit. It's it's a weird tank, okay? We have the typical warrior class, which should speak for itself, and the revenant, which is like a darker type class, obviously. There's another point that I should mention at this point. Each class has three specializations. The people that World of Warcraft will know that. There's something like that in World of Warcraft as well, where you can go and choose which path your class shall take. Let's say a mage can beca be become a fire mage, uh, a cane mage or ice mage. A perfect example for that in Final Fantasy would be a scholar or a uh, summoner. They both have the same base kit, but they, they the class can in turn into two different classes later on. Like I said, either into a scholar or into a summoner. Basically in this game, you have three each for each class. And you can choose that when you reach max level, which is 80. And afterwards, the leveling continues, but we'll go into that in detail in another video. I don't want to make this all about the classes. I just wanted to mention it. A small point that I have to mention as well. Each class is going to play differently before you reach level 80, in the sense that whenever you put a different weapon on, your spells change. That means when you play a uh, Mesma, you can wield a great sword and have ranged attacks that deal a lot damage the further you're away from the enemy with different attacks that are specific to the great sword you can also wield a normal sword which is going to be melee you get new spells for that five new spells you can combine some weapons together the sword by the way only three because you can combine it with a gun which then makes it five spells because the sword has three spells and the gun has two spells and in totally have five and you can just do that with a lot of different weapons. So you'll have a lot of different spells to choose from. You can just choose the weapon you like the most and play with that. When you choose a specialization, you can wield gun uh, weapons that you couldn't before you chose a specialization. So that's very complex. We can go into the classes in detail in another video. If you want, you can let me know in the comments and then I can explain it in a good video. No problem. All right, second point, races. We have five different races. This is going to be a very short point, by the way. Um, we have the... I've mentioned this in the first video, by the way, but I can mention it again. 
We have the tiger, cat, cow things. Okay, they're called a cha. Male and female, obviously. We have a hum the normal humans. I don't need to show that, I guess. I mean, I can. There you go. Norn, which are like huge humans that can turn into beasts as a special ability. So it's like a wagon in um, World of Warcraft. Uh, you can choose between a lot of different beasts still, so that's special. We have the typical midget class, which is just gonna be... I can show you in detail, it's this weird rat. I, I have no idea. Then we also have plants in this game, okay? You can be a male plant or a female plant. Yikes. But it's obviously personal if you enjoy that. You can obviously customize them in a good, good way so that they look better than this, but that's up to you. Uh, a small note yet again. Whenever you choose a class, I've mentioned this in the first video, but I feel like it wouldn't hurt mentioning it again. You can choose a personality for your character. Um, and that is gonna change the route of your race where you start, the starter zone. You'll have a different path for questing. Uh, it all depends on what you choose though. Uh, this might change the story a lot for the first chapter, but later on it doesn't really matter. It's only for the first chapter, which is like, I don't know, the first few hours in the game and afterwards it's gonna change. But I think that's a quite good uh, detail that most MMOs don't have, where you have like multiple story paths and they change depending on your character's personality. But yeah, let's jump to the next point. All right, we're back for the third point. Uh, you see me on the mount here, it's a raptor, which you get for free, by the way, whenever you buy the second expansion, I think. Or the first one, I just bought a bundle, I got both, so I don't know if it's the first or the second. Basically, you have a lot of different mounts, I just got on the raptor so I can show you something. Whenever you press the spacebar, you can no jump normally, but each mount in this game has a special ability for the raptor. It's gonna be a special jump. You just saw it on that for that person. You can see the yellow bar, which is my stamina. If I hold the spacebar button, I can jump a great distance. Uh, this makes a lot of sense when you want to jump over like a gap on the map. You know, it actually helps a lot. And yeah, let me get down and show you the other mounts. If you press H, by the way, you have the tab. That's not like in Final Fantasy, where you can see a lot of things that exist in the game. That's more like in World of Warcraft, the collections tab, which I, by the way, prefer way over the system in Final Fantasy. Just saying. No, there are only like, how much are these? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, am I, can I count? Voice crack, okay. Nine mounts that you can get uh, by doing different things. Uh, these are the base mounts, but you might say that's only nine mounts. Well, you have mount skins for each mount. Those change the, the looks of the mount by a good amount. This is like one wolf sk skin, I guess. It's another one. I'm just gonna go through a few of these and talk about this for a second. Um, I like this a lot because uh, in Final Fantasy, uh, you cannot really see what mounts exist in the game unless you check on other websites. For example, by the way, this turns into a tiger or something like that. Or like a, yeah, You can see those are a lot of choices uh, and different animals um and yeah you can get those by going to the shop and buying them now you might say gems i don't want to spend money well you can trade your gold in game for gems and just buy gems for gold basically you can buy anything that is in the shop with in-game money you don't have to spend any IRL money you don't have to do that everything everything you Everything in it, holy shit. Am I, okay. Everything that you can see in the store, you can buy with in-game uh, currency. So you can grind for whatever the fuck you want just by playing the game. Um, that in of itself is a difference, but I'm not gonna make a point for that. The only things that you can't buy with in-game currency are the expansions. So that's the only thing you kind of have to buy if you want to play the game. Someone mentioned it in the first video that I made and the person is not wrong. Obviously you have to buy the expansions in the games if you want the specific mounts from the expansions. Like uh, this one is in the newest one, this one as well. 
these ones are like all across the different expansions. But yeah, that's what the mounts work uh, work like in this game. Like I said, each mount has a different ability. Some of them jump really high, some of them fly, some of them only work on the water. Some of them give you like a great uh, dash and shit like that. It's a lot of different things in this game. Uh, yeah, that person distracted me nice. Let's see. Yeah, let's just jump into the fourth point, which is gonna be... Is this Bongi? Anyways, well, uh, I mean, that's a great example of what this community is like. I was just recording this video and I literally just got this message three minutes ago. I literally just logged in. I don't know who that person is. Um, well, I appreciate that. Let me see. All right, fourth point, PvP. That's a PvP tab, so it's very easy in this game. You just click the tab and then a new window appears. This game is more like World of Warcraft, I can I can say it the way it is. There's sadly no 2v2 or 3v3 PvP. Unless, I guess, if you go into the game browser and then people can make personal servers in the, and then you can just make a custom arena or whatever. Uh, but I don't think you can make like 2v2s or 3v3s, to be honest. Um, anyways, that's how you can make custom uh, games with the arena maps. Basically, there's unranked arena or ranked arena. It's just uh, 5v5. You just get different points in the map and that's basically it. It's 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 fun. The PvP in this game is obviously way better than in FF. I think a lot of people can agree with that. World of Warcraft is way better when it comes to PvP. This is also way better than when it comes to PvP uh, in comparison to Final Fantasy. I would still say World of Warcraft is still better from what I've seen so far. Just because of the 2v2 and 3v3s and 1v1s. Uh, that sadly isn't a thing in this game. There's something else that's called World vs. World, which is like a skirmish. I've mentioned it in the first video as well. Where it's like server vs. server vs. server, which is like 100 people vs. 100 people vs. 100 people. It's right there. Uh, yeah, you, you can just enter the battlegrounds and then you just fight alongside them and get different rewards. Uh, I haven't really done it yet. I've just tried like once or twice, but it's been quite fun. I'm just still stuck in this story. I mean, I don't have to... See, I don't have to do the story, but since I have the option to not do it, and it's, you know, my own choice to do it, I decided on doing it. Uh, don't mind the window there. I don't know how it got there. I think it's a bug, actually. All right, let's talk about the fifth point and the last point, which is going to be the map exploration. Very simple. The way to get along the map in this game is by having different TP spots, like in Final Fantasy, just there's a few more in this game. Uh, World of Warcraft doesn't have that. Where you just walk around the map. Uh, one, see, I can I can show you around here somewhere maybe. If I find one, if they are grayed out, then obviously you cannot TP there. But I'm checking if I can see any that I haven't attuned to yet. Well, it's a bit hard if you've attuned to most of them. There should be one of them right here, actually. Uh, right here. Well, I can't see it anyways. The thing is, you can see right there, I am in Lion's Arch, okay? Which is, can I hit? Right there. I have attuned to 13 out of 13. If I hover over this, I can see the vistas. I've not done all of them and they will light up for a sec to show you, okay, these ones you haven't done yet. So you can track them and just finish them. Whenever you finish the map, you get some loot, some XP, so you can just, you can get to max level just by exploring the whole map. You don't have to do any quest, any grinding, any farm, nothing. You can just explore the whole map in this game and you'd, treat, you'd probably reach level 80 if you do some achievements alongside that, but that's very easy. Uh, the leveling, I'm going to talk about in another video in detail, a maybe a leveling guide or something like that, just to help some people out. But those are the five points where you have some similarities, some differences. Um, like I said, for the map exploration in Final Fantasy, you can also tip around, but in this game it's a bit different, okay? Whenever you explore the map, you are actually getting a lot of that. 
a lot of that in Final Fantasy. I mean, you get a tiny bit, you can do fates, TP, uh, you unlock some TPs as well. You can unlock um, flying in the map by collecting some things to unlock it, but I don't think it's as fun as going into the map and seeing this like whenever you these are the icons by, by the way these are like events that you can do in total there are like 300 these are like extra challenges for you as a person not that hard but it's, it's just uh tp point like waypoints points of interest which are just like nice places to look at and vistas which are like basically assassin's creed uh climbing a a, a special building and getting the cinematic where it goes around the building it's literally the same which is just called vista in this game but yeah that's the whole point uh that's a small point i can also mention which is a special point um in the game you can type special commands like wiki et and it's going to tell you whenever all world bosses spawn in a new tab on google you can type different commands which turn into waypoints give me one sec all right like for example this one you just type it in chat. Uh, it looks like this, by the way. There's like a bracket. Uh, the dot is I put accidentally. Yeah, because I screenshot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you just put it like that in chat. It appears. You click right click on it. It shows you a special waypoint. You can TP to any waypoint like that. You can ask someone where's the world boss right now, where's the spawn. They put it in chat. You right click it. That's it. You can just Google it. There's a lot of different codes for the game. I think it's quite nice like that, it's great. You can also ping, get weapons, try them on that way, gear, whatever the fuck. That's it. And maybe I might make it part two of this video where I talk about transmog and other stuff. Pets, minions, but we'll see about that in the future. For now, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to show you a few similarities, a few differences. What you might like in one game more, what you might like in another game less. Um, just like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like this guy. Yeah. Like or dislike. Subscribe. Put in the comments what you think. Follow me on Twitch. Subscribe if you would like, but I don't have to. And on any platform, like on Twitch, especially not because that's uh, not free. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope I see you on on another video. And until then, do you want to see the wave animation? Yikes.